Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob and welcome back to another episode full of fun and games and whatever we can dream up <laughs> here on Black Farm. Uh, this is our series on Black Farm and the first time we are trying the, the Seasons mod, you know. So yes, for, for me it's uh, quite a big uh, new experience. So hopefully you will come and enjoy it with me. And yes, comment as you like and uh, yeah, just enjoy the time together guys. That's what videos on YouTube is all about. <laughs> so take care and thank you for joining and let's get stuck in immediately. All right, excellent. Animals, um, what do they look like? You see, uh, hay is part of power food, so we can give them hay instead of silage or pellets. So we'll need a lot of hay. And then power food. But yeah, I'm not going to be bothered with power food. Because we can just buy that during the, uh, uh, during the winter. So actually, the hay, and the, uh, the hay and the silage and the pellets is produced by the Power food, this two last items is all, all with power food. So we don't really need to make any hay, but we have got hay now, so it doesn't matter. So yes, grass and straw, water, everything looks good still. Let's just quickly uh, check up on our friend, our worker there at, the, at this one. Oh yeah, and everything is working like clockwork now. It's gone another trip, emptied it. So we know this course is working nice, so we can leave him alone now and we'll finish the harvest. Right, one thing I want to do now is go and clean up the... Oh, this is obviously leave our trailer here. Go clean up the... The... Uh, um, the crawl. What do you call it? The area for the... For the um, Cows, stables for the horses. So what do you call the thing for the for the um, for the cows, man? I just call it the crow, but I don't know what you call it in, in English. Cow stable, cow 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 home. <laughs> Let's call it the cow home. Oh my gosh! Oh my Bob, you need to learn English faster. Otherwise, people won't understand what you're saying. Sorry, guys. I'm trying. I really try. Okay, so. This is also a drop that I'm not very good at, obviously. Uh, I did try. Oh, we've hooked somewhere. I didn't see any place where I hooked. He's picking up, so that's nice. Should help with our cleansiness. And catch this little piece here in the back. There we go. Let's just give this back to them. Ooh, look at this thing. It wants to tip. <laughs> it sure is a lightweight, eh? You're gonna definitely have to give it a, um, a weight. Oh my gosh. I missed it. Uh, I think I might just not miss the tr tr trigger there. I think, I think, I think I got stuck there. But I think um, we missed the, it looks like we missed the, the bucket or what do you call it, the trough. Oh, well, this thing needs a weight in the back, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Farmer Bob! I did the I did the front wheel wheelie. I mean, I'm an old biker guy, so yes, I love bikes. So yeah, I do a front wheel wheelie. <laughs> Nothing new, Farmer Bob. You can do it with a tractor, guys. Be careful, like Farmer Bob is vicious. Oh my gosh! Go 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 go! go. Alright guys, so yeah, let's leave this here for now. Oh, you know what? What else is there on cleansing on the farm? Um, wasn't there... Uh, I haven't really farmed with cows before guys. I used to usually just do pigs, you know. Uh, 
think if they've got the grass here on the on the area where they feed, that is nice to make the to make the um, Oh, that's another thing that I haven't seen is the is the actual oh my lord look at this it is as I was saying it was very interesting um, is that I need I was wondering where the manure is you know because normally cows uh, produce manure from the straw let me see how to open this gate. You just left it. Okay, nice. So, yeah, the one thing we need to find out is where is the manure? So, I think I found it. It seems to be in this little area here. So, this is going to be quite an interesting job to see. But it's lying here in between the straw and stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be quite interesting to upload this. But I'll see now if it's uh well you see. Oh my word. And then what do we do with them in the manure? Don't have any place to put it. That is crazy guys. We don't have any place to put them in there. That is another another big problem. And guys, I just want to clean your shed for you a bit. We've got stuck there on the pole. Not to worry, former Bob is. Ooh, former Bob is scary crazy with this piece of equipment. It's a very crazy setup here. Team between this. Um, Holes in there, you know. I don't have steering. I think my bucket might just be a bit too, too low. Hopefully, it will still pick up now. Going forward and backwards like that. Crazy person. It's the only way I can think of doing this. I don't realize I'm still gonna have to figure out something to do with this um, manure. Right, so yeah. I think that's about the lot of it. There is still next to that pole. There's a little bit there around this pole seems to be a bit more there I think we've basically covered the lot now the question is what do we do with the price what are we going to do we're going to have to create an area where we can just dump it for now until we have too much of it <laughs> Oh my gosh, Farmer Bob just closed the gate. Oh, alright guys, so obviously we need to uh, store this manure of ours somewhere. And uh, I have no idea what to do with it, to, to, to tell you the truth. Okay, uh, what to do, what to do. We've got a whole load of manure here. And, uh, hey, what are we going to do with it? There's no place to store manure yet. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Maybe we should buy a trailer. A bigger trailer to store manure. Uh, best thing will probably be to have a manure spreader. Do we have a manure spreader? I actually think... I don't think we have one. We might have started with one and I might have sold it. <laughs> How appropriate. And I mean, this is dung, so you don't want it close to your house. Because um, it stinks, and it breeds flies, and all kinds of things. Alright, so I think the best thing to do would probably be to just buy a trailer. Um, 
let us have a look at what there is. I don't want something elaborate. Um, Mendoza spreaders. Mendoza spreaders. Mendoza spreaders. That's 8,000 liters. It's not really a lot. It's a pity we don't have a greenhouse, you know, because if we buy a greenhouse, because this thing costs um, quite a bit of bucks, 50 grand. This one costs 11. Let's buy a greenhouse, because if we have a greenhouse, um, we can use the manure to fertilize the greenhouse. How's that for a brilliant idea, guys? <laughs> Okay, my gosh. Um, normally, a greenhouse you would like to be close to your home. But I think here yeah, in the back might be a good spot here where the chickens is. That might be a nice spot for a greenhouse or two. All right, let's just buy one for now. Um, now the question is where do we get those things oh, i've got no idea I, must, I don't recall seeing them here at this yes they are here there you go hmm. and i suppose um i suppose lettuce will be all right to start with let's go with lettuce guys now these things I've done them before. You need to you need to have access to them on um, the one side. Good access, I mean. If we can have it somewhere there, like that, that is actually perfect. I think that's awesome, right there. We can drive right through, right past, like that. And there you go. Problem solved. And now we just jump into our tractor. Oh, that, that guy, I need to let him carry on. we we'll get there now. Let's just quickly uh, dump this manure into the greenhouse. I'm sure these 15 cows is going to breed to a bit more soon and then we will have more manure but this should this should be more than enough to run one greenhouse 15 cows trust me this should be more than enough okay and then obviously we would want to um, add water to it but before we do that I just want to jump to on the radio to this guy and see what's keeping him he is at 90%. Um, two courses. The next closest. Let's just have a look. Where is the... Where is the... Closest course is coming back that way. Let's just follow the track. This is one you went down with. Some time, I don't know why he stopped. Could this be the end of the line? I don't think so. If you look at it, the arrows, is going there to the green and then back to the red. So, yeah, it should be all okay. Just want to grab this piece here. Otherwise it's going to take to waste. Like that guys, just like that. And then all we say is... Uh, yeah, next closest waypoint. Go for it. And it should be alright. Oh, it's full. <laughs> Just in time. Okay, so let us continue. And obviously, now we're going to need to bring some water to, to this um, point. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get to there. Yeah, looks like it. It's close, but it's alright. I think it's just dumped this way here. Like 
tent. Nice. Get a little tracky. I normally do this with uh, um, with the Unimog, but I mean, we are now busy with the forklift uh, front loader. So we might as well just get it done, you know? I love how that greenhouse spring, the greenhouse springs into action once you start giving it water. It's so awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Is it R? Yes. There we go. Nice. So not only are we gonna... Is it now full? I can't remember how you check this thing. Former Bob, what are you doing? I'm guys are trying to see how full this thing is. Um, how do you check it? Is it F1? Sorry, man. Could it be? There should be a way you can see the full levels on this. Oh my gosh. Alright, we can just jump in and see. Help me out guys, help me out. Mm. So how do I know it needs water? Am I being blonde again or what is the problem? No guys, I'm stumped. I honestly do not know what to think. I just want to see is our grass cutter there at the bottom, the mower. What is it doing? It is going, so yeah, something is happening. Alright, let's leave it. Let it be. Okay, so... I'm totally sure there should be a way to see. Um, I haven't used these greenhouses in many moons. Oh there you go, water, 100 and the newer is 42, so, so that day and a half, two days gave us about 50% manure. Right, excellent. We live and learn guys, we live and learn, that's how it works. Okay, I think let us just leave it there for now. Let's get the, the mower driver on the radio. Okay, where is he going now? Oh, my what is happening with this course? Why is it so crazy? You know what? I've, I've had the, um, that ground modification mod um, that you did the, the asphalt with. That thing messed up my computer. It kept on crashing the, the game. So I had to delete the, the ground modification um, it's one of the texture um, packs or something, I have to delete that. And that helps, so uh, I'm going to have to see if I can find another one. Alright, so now you're here. Wonderful. So what are you doing now? He's folding up. He's reached the end of the line. There's only one way to go and it's left. Alright, so what are you doing? Oh, don't tell me it's crashed again. Yep, it's crashed again. Nice, seems to <coughs> be better now. I don't know why my game keeps crashing, but I've read up on this mod. Here it is. <laughs> That's the one that messed up our game. Um, we used it to do this field, so I hope I hope everything is going to be all right now. We test it. I've just removed it, um, and then now the grass is here where it is. 
So hopefully, hopefully it's being sorted out now. But I mean, it's all right. We can live with grass here <laughs> for now. If it sorts out the crashing thing, um, I'll investigate later on why and try other versions and whatever, you know. So I'm not going to be bothered too much about it now because we want to play the game and not have hassles. <laughs> so for now, it seems to be more stable. Hopefully, it will be more stable. So we'll take it from there, guys. Excellent. Okay. Uh, yes. I just want to check up on our mowing because at the moment all we can do is wait for the day to go past. I've upped the speed a little bit. Uh, if we go into into the seasons, then we can see uh, we need at least for our soybeans 10 degrees. So it's going to be quite a while before we can plant soybeans. But we're not going to only plant soybeans, obviously. Or maybe we should only plant, but we're going to do corn. Um, just going to have a look at the animals. I'm sure the cows, they don't need corn. So we're not going to be bothered, bothered with corn. I want to plant soybeans. Because there's very good money in soybeans. I know the guys do grass and bale silage and all that. Silage bales, you know. There's a lot of money in that too. But that is a lot of work, guys. Um, unless Farmer Bob can find an easy way to do that, you know. <laughs> I love challenges, guys, so uh, that's what I do. I live for challenges, so, um, and there we go. Game froze again. Ah, my word. Well, guys, what I've been doing now is um, I've reinstalled my game, reinstalled the graphics drivers, and I'm just testing. I've been playing for about half an hour now manually without course play or anything. And the game is running very smooth, so I'm just continuing to mow this field uh, with the crone um, manually, so I'm just testing it see. So hopefully it's all sorted out now. And that is all seems started when I installed that ground modification mod uh, with that roller. Oh my word, uh, something went horribly wrong there. I messed up my game by the looks of it. I'm going to continue um, mowing this field until I'm finished and then we'll check it from there. Hopefully it's sorted out now. <laughs> I really hope so. Yo, guys, and I must say, doing grass work with this Crone, um, this Crone uh, 550 GD, it is an awesome machine. I've said it before and I <laughs> must say it again. It is a pleasure doing grass work with this machine. Man. It is so smooth and nice and easy to operate and it is fast man it's just unbeatable man there is nothing on the mod on the mod market to beat this thing now well, guys we've come to the end of our field um, everything has been thoroughly uh, mowed it's just a patch here and a patch there that i'm gonna catch up with and it's just finished off but so far so good man i don't see any problems um, I have done also an upgrade on course play to the latest version and I'm not too sure if if maybe um, this whole thing could be related to course play as well so I haven't tested that yet but yeah we've got still a lot of planting to do so I'll be I'll be definitely using course play a lot uh, tomorrow or in actually the next day rather um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll definitely see what's, what's happening. Okay, guys. So I'm going to just uh, um, empty this and then forward today until next day so that we can be getting ready for planting. Myself quite busy <laughs> this day. Um, just want to quickly update you on where we are. I've built a nice vehicle shelter here. Uh, for all our uh, external stuff that can stand outside, all the... Um, equipment as you can see there I think it looks quite nifty quite a nice uh, um, shelter one of these lights work I've never actually checked this you know oh, doesn't really look like it you see other another light switch what do you normally use to switch on the light 
<laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh, I'm just pressing a few buttons, guys. Okay, no, nothing is working, so obviously. Ah, but it doesn't matter, we don't really need lights on it. Or did I put it the wrong way around and the light is in the back? <laughs> no. Okay, ah, well, that's not a problem. And then also I built the Unimocker shelter here. Because when it snows, it's nice. Come directly out of the house, whoop, into your vehicle, and you can drive. No problems. And then as you all know, we've built the, the little um, greenhouse in the back to actually get rid of our manure which is working very nicely and then what I've done is I've cleared this whole area so we put the big cedar in there and our fertilizer and then we put our small tractors and small equipment here on this side and then in this shed here I've also cleared it a bit out here make it nice and neat um, the plow I'm still going to move out into the uh, shelter outside and then our big tractors will come in here and then obviously all our big equipment you know into this shed still need to move that fork but yeah otherwise everything is starting to look nice and neat the way i like it and um yeah there's also a weight lying around here great man so yeah that's where we are now guys so i think i've basically done everything i wanted to do so i will definitely do a forward of time now to the next day and see what we can do uh, feed the, the, the cows again and then yeah just see if we can plant anything okay excellent man well, well guys I've just forwarded now to 12 o'clock at night just to see what what income we have and there's five grand milk and then our greenhouse is brought in one eight <laughs> isn't that awesome <laughs> that is so cool man so yeah let's just do it uh, I wanted to just check the cows they're still gonna make it so that's nice let's just carry on till the next morning i think seven o'clock is a good time to wake up yeah yeah we just made it so we're gonna have to feed the cows <laughs> okay so let's get cracking with that it's a new day let us do that um feeding the cows will require us to get our little john deere I think we'll use the John Deere. Okay, good stuff. And our little trailer is down there. This one is reversed, it's just around the bend. Give the cow some food. And I suppose. Depending on how much manure and stuff there is, we might do a clean again today. I don't know if it's going to have to be done every day. I hope not. Surely hope not. <laughs> that will be terribly, terribly horrible. Okay, we've placed an order for some more um, total mix ration. But I just remembered now, we actually do have some leftovers there in our storage. Oh my word. With the palm bulb, we went straight into the fence. I wanted to just sneak down here and just load up our last batch that we've bought. But I did order some more anyway, and the guys did deliver, so we can obviously um, just fill up our total mix ration 3600 meters. Now the last time we filled up, I can't remember, I think we did 8,000 liters, but let's not take a full trailer and see, we can always come and store the rest of it, you know, so it's not a train smash. <laughs> Good man, that's why we have it. That is exactly why we have it, guys. I don't know why this thing, you see, when I'm driving here the first time, it wants to start filling. <laughs> the select silo is empty. Oh my gosh, they haven't delivered yet. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Alright. Let us just deliver that to the cows so long just to help them out for now. 
and then I'll have to put in another order and just find out where is our delivery. I can't work out this price. Or maybe I removed one of the mods helping that silo. I must just put it down and check. So I removed so many mods to figure out what the problem is. And my game kept crashing. I knew it had to do with that roller that I used. That thing just made, made us big mess of the game. Tip site, oh, once again I've changed it to the right. Of course I've now come, come in again at the wrong side. <laughs> As usual. Alright guys, so let us just go and see. wonder how much just brought some relief there for now. So yes, I'll take it from here guys. Just give me a few minutes to sort out things. Well guys, this is the end of another episode and uh, it was really fun sharing this time together. Uh, I really want to just say thank you for uh, tuning in and joining me in this venture and having all fun together in our favorite game. Um, I would love to hear from you in the comments if there's anything you want to um, say or any ideas or, or any, anything that stood out to you. I would love to hear whatever you think you know so yeah it's always fun to do that but thanks guys for tuning in and you've been great um, if you like the video just give it a like if not thumbs down honesty is always the best um, uh, best recipe <laughs> I just believe that you know so guys take care man this is former Bob saying cheers until next time bye